You can do anything you set your mind to, set your grind to, but let me remind you, whatever dream you're pursuing, stay hungry, stay foolish. Really, it just depends on what you want out of life. Me, I just wanted to write. I just wanted to write. gave you permission to stop me from living. See, what's got me living is y'all never gave me a handout, but it's funny how now you've got your hands out. But you can stand down and put your hands down and stop looking at me with expectations like I owe you any explanations. Go ahead. Judge me. I don't care if you're about to sentence me. Just don't expect me to care enough to show you an ounce of sympathy. See, maybe you can't stomach what I'm becoming because I'm becoming what you wasn't while you seek comfort in discussing and glorifying what I'm finding to be demoralizing. And since I began pinning this in this genesis and when I started chasing this, you didn't believe in me like an atheist. So now I harbor this grief that no one wants to be a part of my belief. So you have to pardon my bitterness and hate, but I hope you understand it wasn't in my plan to harbor business with fakes. And it actually baffles me how now in the revelation, you tend to make statements for men in the hating. But why should I stop to listen when you never saw my ambition, admitting that you never had my back? See, back then it used to be important for your endorsement, but I couldn't even get a proper portion for your support and for my nourishing. That's why I got so discouraged, because all the effort and time that I would pour in, y'all were ignoring. So now it's time to address the loud talkers, the too proud walkers, the too lazy to get their butts up off the couch and on the field to play D. And what plagues me is you would rather stay on the sidelines and call plays to play me. Stuff you had no business doing. So you formed a union of people that stopped speaking to me. And I never asked why you held that grudge. But the question I want to know is why when I stop speaking to you, why do I get judged? See, every loss I took, I bounced back. I never asked for an ounce back. I kept grinding because I kept finding that silver lining. But it's funny how now you want to sign in and give pounds. But I never asked for your consignment then. So why should I begin now? Why is it the ones who want the most of us give us the least? I said, why is it? The ones that want the most of us give us the least. That's what gets draining. And I'm not saying this to be boasting, but after a while it gets entertaining because all I end up doing is playing you right back off your own emotion. Let me also address. It seems no matter what my level of success, I can't get your respect. Somewhere down the line, that success must have hurt and had you faltered. And it must give you a rise still because it made you put on a dress, halter, purse, and high heels. So yeah, I heard you, but the nerve of you. And oh, since y'all want to act like we're right back in high school, I heard that he said, that she said, that you said, that you heard it, but it wasn't worth it. That you didn't like it, that you didn't get excited. In fact, you hated it, didn't get motivated, weren't really feeling it, but you were surely concealing it in public because when I saw you, that never came up in our discussion. You never told me that, so an apology, yeah, you at least told me that because being nice was a strain, so I now have ice in my veins. I have nothing left to give you, contribute, or attend to, and it feels beautiful knowing that the feeling is mutual. The only reason I ever sat down for any of y'all's foolishness is because I would never stand for your BS. Give me a damn break. All of y'all smiles now is about as real as your handshakes. Fake. I'm sure you'll probably talk about me as soon as I walk away.